Hey guys, it's your boy Rek coming out with a brand new video. In this video, I will show you guys how to boost FPS in PUBG PC Lite on low-end PCs. If you have a medium-end or a high-end PC, you can still use these tweaks and get even more FPS. Some of these tweaks may look a bit technical, but they are very easy as I'm going to show you everything step by step. So yeah guys, if you want absolute max FPS, then I recommend watching my windows optimization guide after this one. I will leave it in the i button in the top right corner. So go ahead and check it out after this one. Okay guys, this video took a lot of effort to create, so a like would be highly appreciated and subscribe to the channel for future content. So yeah guys, without any further ado, let's dive straight into the video. Okay guys, before we do anything, we will create a restore point which will ensure that if any of the changes don't fit for your PC or something goes wrong, you can easily revert all those changes. To do that, simply go down to your start menu and type restore. Click on create a restore point. And then select the drive in which your Windows is installed and click on create. You can name it anything, I'm just gonna name it rec. Click on create. Okay, so now the restore point is created, just click on close and if you want to choose the restore point, then simply come back here and click on system restore, click on next, select the restore point and click on next and follow the instructions. Okay guys, first off we are gonna make sure that our windows and graphic drivers are up to date. To check that, go down to your start menu and click on the settings, then click on update and security and make sure that your windows is up to date if you have any optional updates which allows you to update to windows version 1909 i will highly recommend that guys because it's proven to give you a little more fps and then for the graphic drivers you need to go to the manufacturer website of your graphic card if you're using amd go to amd's website and if you are using nvidia graphic card then go to nvidia's website I will leave both links in the description down below so go ahead and download the latest drivers okay guys so after you have done that go down to your start menu again and this time type this pc and then right click on it click on properties go to advanced system settings then click on settings and then guys just copy these settings uncheck everything except for show shadows under mouse pointer show thumbnails instead of icons and smooth edges of screen fonts just uncheck everything except for these and click on ok ok guys so next up we are gonna check for any errors in our disk hard drive or ssds and we are also gonna optimize our hard drive for the best performance possible so yeah guys just go down to your start menu and type this pc again and then click on it then right click on the drive Click on properties and then go to tools and check for errors. Scan drive. This is gonna make sure guys that your drive is not having any errors and if it does then it will automatically try to fix those errors. It is highly recommended guys. Make sure to use this on all of your drives. I have already done that so I am just gonna use it on this one. Ok guys, after this click on close and click on optimize. Ok guys, so in this one you don't want to optimize your solid state drives, just optimize your hard disk drives. Here in the media type you can see which one you are using. Just click on the hard disk drives and click on optimize. For the sake of the video, I'm gonna skip it but it's highly recommended guys. Then click on ok and close out of it. Next up guys, we are gonna do a little registry tweak to make sure that there is no input delay when you are playing PUBG PC Lite. So to do that, simply go down to your start menu and type run, click on it. Then in this box, type REGEDIT, -E click on OK. Okay guys, so once the registry editor opens up, just paste this command from the description and press enter. Then double click on windows and then move towards the left until you find the numbers this right here. It will say something like 2048 or something like that. Just change that to 30720 and then click on OK. 
Next up guys, just make sure you don't have any apps running in the background. I know this may seem like unnecessary but trust me guys it's gonna help you boost FPS in PUBG Lite so much because most of the times apps running in the background consume a lot of network CPU and graphics which in turn lowers your FPS as well as causes high ping. So just go ahead and make sure that nothing is running in the background except for the apps that you might be currently using. Next up guys go down to your start menu again and go to settings then click on privacy scroll down a bit till you find background apps and make sure that this it let apps run in the background is toggled off and then close out of it now again go down to your start menu and click on settings this time go to gaming and make sure that your game bar is off unless you use it to record clips which i really don't recommend i recommend using your graphic card for recording gameplays like shadow play and uh, then go down to your game mod and make sure that this is turned on if you're using any version of windows above 1903 to check that simply go down to start menu and type winver and as you can see i am on the version 1909 just make sure it's turned on if you're using anything above 1903 otherwise just turn it off Next up guys go into the description and download the PUBG Lite FPS pack I provided down below and uh, then extract it using WinRAR. Open it up and use everything according to the steps. First go into the in-game settings, configs and then select the config file according to your specs. I'm gonna choose load 720p and then copy everything. Go down to your start menu and type percent local app data percent. Scroll down a bit till you find Shadow Tracker Extra. Then open up Saved, Config, Windows No Editor, and then just paste. Replace all the files and close out of it. Then again, go into the FPS pack and open up PUBG Lite Process Priority and then use the high priority then match it now for the launch options open it up and copy this command just make sure to change the preferred processors number and uh, to change that right click on the taskbar go to ta task manager and then go to performance tab and look for the number of logical processors, not for the cores, number of logical processors. I have 4, so I'm gonna change it to 4. And then just copy this. Then right click on the PUBG Lite shortcut that you might have on your desktop and click on open file location. Then go to client, shadow dragger extra, binaries, win64 and then just right click on it and send it to desktop create a shortcut on desktop and right click on it again and click on properties in the target go to the end press space and then control plus v to paste that command and click on apply ok now for most of the people this shortcut will work just fine so use this to launch your game but for some people it will not work properly then you can simply go ahead and launch using this shortcut. They will sync the settings in between and you will get the FPS boost. Then go again into the FPS pack and this time use the time resolution. Open it up and then click on maximum and minimize it while you are playing game. And after you are done playing, just open it up again and click on default and close it. I recommend that you put it somewhere on your desktop. And then we are done with this step. Okay guys, for the next step, we are gonna create our own power plan. To do that, simply go down to your start menu and search PowerShell. Then open up the Windows PowerShell, run it as admin. And then paste this command from the description. I will leave it into the description and then simply close out of it. Go down to your start menu and search power. Click on edit power plan. Go to power options and make sure that the ultimate performance is checked then go to change plan settings and turn off display change it to never save changes and then close out of it 
Okay guys, so for the next step, I recommend using the Malwarebytes Adware Cleaner. This is a really great software recommended by a lot of people. It will make sure that you don't have any adware, malware or the PUPs that might be running in the background causing a decrease in the overall performance of your PC. So I highly recommend it. Just go ahead and download it from the link in the description and open it up. And then scan now. As you can see both of these are unwanted softwares so just click on quarantine and then click on continue make sure you go ahead and close anything that you are using so I am recording now so I'm gonna cancel it I will do it later so click on quarantine and then it will ask you to restart simply go ahead and restart your PC and then we are done okay guys so that's it for this video I hope this video helps you guys for those of you guys who are wondering that why didn't I show the in-game settings, we basically changed the in-game settings using the config file. But if for some reason you still want to, then go ahead and check out my previous video. So yeah guys, just make sure you go ahead and leave a like on the video down below and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next one. Stay awesome.